Initially, I became involved with Danielle's Place because I met Danielle, who came from Nelson High School. I had a course called Human Relations. She took that course. And her illness came at, after uh, a rape, uh, after her graduation out of high school. And from that point uh, till five years later, she slowly killed herself with anorexia. When you think about um, Carolyn Mayer, so she was Danielle's mother, and she had a vision and she had a passion about uh, making sure that her daughter's memory would not fade away. So Danielle's place, basically, when you think about the, the phoenix kind of rising from the ashes, this is how Danielle's place came to be. It's been proven that eating disorders are very closely associated with different mental illnesses, depression, anxiety, uh, as a result, uh, it's really difficult for people to think about how to feed their bodies and they become, they get into a relationship with their bodies that's adversarial and we try to help them learn, relearn to love themselves, to support themselves and to value what they bring to the world so that they will start to take better care of themselves. To help myself right now, um, I'm doing all right, I'm medically stable, but I, my weight is fairly low and I do know that in the long term, staying at a lower weight, while it might not be showing its effects now in my vital signs, over time, it might affect my heart muscle and it'll just, health problems will begin to accumulate. I mean, if I don't do something and change my whole approach, then I will face those health issues. I would say the psychological are then starting to take on. Now if somebody were teased as a child, they'll have a lower self-worth. Um, just whatever starts to tip that low self-esteem into gear, and that can then be maintained by things maybe parents are doing inadvertently by peers. We have the media with lots of messages and kids are always looking at idealistic, successful people on the internet, whether it's just in looks or otherwise. Uh, all very important. And the more, that, the more weight that's lost, the more ill a person becomes because they don't have the proper nutrients um, to think properly. And the intensity of the fear of weight gain actually increases with the more weight that they lose. So it's a bit counterintuitive, but it just shows the nature of the illness. I think one of the, uh, the, the major gains in a, in, a, in a treatment program like Danielle's Place, or when there are other people who struggle or are struggling with the disorder or moving a little further along the line, and they can impart hope uh, to the people who are struggling with it themselves. Because um, we would rather treat people outside a hospital if we could. And using psychological processes, family members, relation, people who are in relationship to the person or develop relationships with the person to help encourage them to, to kind of stay on their treatment plan. Even though there's a, a very strong part of the person themselves that doesn't want to follow the treatment guidelines. I think it was a fight at the beginning. I knew I had to do it. Um, I have two kids and so I think at the beginning I was probably doing it more for them than for me. Um, and I can see how far I've come now at times, um, but I didn't really realize at the beginning that I was needing that much help until you get a certain place and realize where you started from. You wake up one day and you're just like, whoa, like what's happening to me? I would say that um, just get out, like get out of it as soon as you can because the longer you're there, the harder it is to fight your way back out of it. Everyone thinks eating disorders are a choice, something you decide like, oh, I'm going to stop eating because I want to lose 10 pounds or something. And a lot of times we do, when we have body image issues, we kind of think we're making that choice, but it, it also comes more from an internal voice in your head that's saying, I'm not good enough, I'm not skinny enough, I'm not pretty enough. I can see how people who haven't been through it can imagine it would be a choice, um, but personally I think it's just like any other mental health situation. Um, I've never thought eating disorders were a choice, and I don't think anyone would put themselves in that situation of the amount of pain they have to feel or 
the amount of um, suffering they have to go through. So I've never thought eating disorders were a choice, nor do I think any other mental health um, illness is a choice. So. There are a lot of criteria for getting into a program. There are a lot of waiting lists for getting into a program. Um, Danielle's Place is a first stop and a repeated stop for folks to come and um, get the support that they need while they're journeying to wherever their recovery process is going to happen. Maybe it happens here, maybe it's going to happen somewhere else, but uh, to me it's a vital piece um, and it's a community-based piece. And we do um, kind of a school outreach program where we go out to elementary schools and high schools in the area and kind of present to them um, about body image, self-esteem, things of that nature, just to kind of spread the word and, and help kids who might be struggling with these kind of pre-eating disorder issues. And then for the high school ones, we kind of go into specific eating disorders and stuff like that because they may be touched by that by the time they're in high school. Um, and I really like that. I really like getting out in the community and seeing all the kids and, and, and uh, kind of being part of their education in that sense. Our first bold run. It was a dream that we've had since like day one of this club and it's finally come to fruition. As there's so many people who have problems with body image, self-esteem, even I have problems with it time to time. And I just thought this is something that needs to happen at MAC and needs to be here. And then I thought, okay, well, what can we do? We can raise money, but what is the money going to go towards? As well as help of our lovely sponsors, we've raised just under $3,000 for Danielle's Place. So we have a support group in McMaster, and they're giving back as students. Reach Out for Kids, or ROCK, is very strong in Halton in providing support for individuals with mental health issues. So uh, they have always dealt with young people right up to the age of 17. Now they'd like to provide more of a continuum of care. When people transition into that 18-year-old, there's a huge gap in mental health care, not only in our community, but all over the place. So they're trying to fill that gap by expanding their programs and, and expanding ours at the same time, providing us with stability so that we're not constantly having to worry about the doors closing. I'm going to be focusing on ensuring that anyone who reaches out to Danielle's place gets the support they need. And at the same time, um, I'm going to be working with volunteers and students to make sure that their contributions are valued and that they feel like they have a, a solid, responsible role here.